Hi everyone, this video is from our Oracle Fusion Middleware training where we show how to install Oracle Sun JDK which is a prerequisite to install Oracle WebLogic Server or any Fusion Middleware product in Oracle like SOA, Web Center Suite or Oracle Identity and Access Management Suite. So when you get when you get an email, you will get an access to the VNC server detail with a server name and the port number or screen number. So in this case, you see the server name is imtr26.k21technologies.com and screen number is 26. So you log in through VNC screen and you land on a screen with username is Oracle and the machine name. So in my case, if you do ID, you will be logging in with a user Oracle and group is Oracle. So if you see or if you notice the group username you've logged in is different, just revert back or contact support at k21technologies.com. So to explain what we have, the staging or the software are under directory stage Oracle in that you have software database then identity nexus management which is o a m o i m then you have idm which is your oracle internet directory and oracle virtual directory you have jdk then oracle http server rcu which is repository creation utility and the weblogic server so the directory which you will see is where software is downloaded is stage oracle so the first process is installing weblogic server is you install jdk so you ensure you've logged in as oracle user and you go to stage oracle and jdk now if you notice here you have three rpms which is first it says it's jdk and it's version 7 which is 1.7 update 25 the second is JDK 7 again, but update 51. And third is JDK 7 again, update 60. You can install all three version or three updates of JDK 7 are supported by Fusion Middleware 11G or WebLogic 11G. So this RPMs must be installed using user root. So what we'll do is we will switch user and you do switch minus which means we are switching as user root and hit enter and you type password as welcome one w capital so w e l c o m e one and then you go back to the staging area which is for slash stage oracle jdk and you install using rpm minus ivh and jdk update i'm going to select update 60 because this is the latest but you can pick up any particular update and run this command to install jdk software so you typed rpm minus ivh space jdk 7 update 60 for Linux 64 bit dot RPM and hit enter. So this command from root user will install RPM in your Linux machine. So it'll take good few minutes and that should install JDK. And this has installed the JDK 7 update 60. So when you install it basically gets installed under user java this is a default location when you run rpm which is under user java jdk 17 and then update 60 so we go to jdk 17 update 60 and we go to bin directory and we run java dot forward slash java hyphen version to find out that it's java 
version 1.7 update 60 that we installed above. So just to repeat again what we have done so far, we went to stage from root user, we went into stage Oracle JDK directory and we did RPM minus an IVH and then the RPM name which is JDK update 60 under dash Linux x64 dot RPM which has installed the Java under user Java JDK 1.7.0 underscore 60. So this finishes the JDK installation. Thank you.